Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today, in spite of this being an easy problem, this is a very interesting problem. So, let's talk about the feedback of the problem we are discussing. Oh, I forgot to tell you the name. So the name is Find Common Nodes in 2BST. And hi, I'm Siddharth Hazra. I'm currently an SD at Geeks for Geeks. Besides that, I'm also a code candidate master at Code Forces. So the name of the problem is self-explanatory. So we just need to find the common nodes into binary search tree. Okay. So for those who have forgot the basics of binary search tree let me just remind you so binary search tree is a tree where the left is smaller than the parent and the right is more than the parent i use that if we go on the if we if we move in right direction we would gain more in life so in the same manner you can just use the same thing that if we move on the right hand side in a binary search tree, the value would be more. This is the small example I use to remember this property. And this property kind of sums up everything of binary search tree. And this property, one, left side of one is small, right side is more, left side is less, and right side is more. So we need to have one more binary search tree. So we have 10, the left side has 7 this side has 20 and we have something known as 4 and then we have something known as 9 and what are the nodes that are common the nodes that are common are 4 4 7 7 9 9 and then 10 and then 10 so it is kind of very easy to observe that the location of the common nodes are not in the same place. So finding the common common nodes in a binary search tree is a little bit difficult. So it is not very difficult because whenever you are hearing the term binary search tree, just remember one more property. That is, you need to remember this. This is kind of like, I think 70% of the binary search tree problems solution is based on this fact that in order I would just write it down so that you don't forgot in order traversal of of BST is sorted okay just remember this property so now if I have something like this, in order traversal of BST is sorted. So if I know this property, then this pro problem is easy. How? We can just iterate on both of the binary search tree. How it is in order traversal of binary search tree is sorted. What is in order traversal? Left, root, and then right. Left, root, and right. That is in order. So we have... 5. Five's left is unvisited, 1. So, once left is unvisited, 0. So, we have 0. Then, after that, 0 is done. Then, after root would be done, that is 1. Then, after root and left is done, then after we would go to the right, that is 4. Then, after we would go to 5, 5's left is visited. So, we would go to root, that is 5. Then, 5's after left and root is visited, we would go to the right hand side, that is 10. 10's left is not visited, so we would go to 7. 7's left is no one, so we would visit 7. Then, we would visit the 7 himself because now he is the root. So, then we would go to the right hand side, that is 9. Okay. Now, 10's left is visited. Now we would visit 10. So you can see that doing in order traversal of a binary search tree gives us ordered result. Just remember this. So now what we can really do is we can traverse both of the tree in an in order fashion and we can have the sorted result and this is just like finding the common elements into sorted arrays. And you can simply use a for loop here. This is the very first step. The very next step 
this is as this is an easy problem the very next step what you can really do here is that like to make it more easy you don't need to go to that extent while visiting you can just keep a map while visiting you can just keep a map and you can just say if i have seen this node before i would say that yes this is visited if i have not seen i would say okay this is not visited keep it because if something is common and if we store if we store the elements of both of them in one area then the common nodes would have a frequency too and we would kind of trigger this idea okay and we would take out the common nodes whenever we are seeing any element twice we would say these are the common elements so this in order thing so if this problem was of medium level this problem would have been solved by iterative in order iterative in order is just by using stack so the space complexity remains the same that is why i move forward with the map value so let us just use the map and we would simply do an in order traverse and we would say if we are seeing an element twice it is the common element and that's done so now let us have this we would just have the vector int answer in the global space just so that we don't really need to pass it again and again okay and then we have the find common and then at this point as this is in the global space and it might have test cases in the back end so we would say answer dot clear okay this is done and then if the root is equals to equals to null and the right root if r1 is equal to equal to null like both are not true not r1 and then not r2 then we would simply return the value of answer like both are null then is, there is no point in doing in an order traversal so now at this point we would say we need to have a map so now at this point we would simply have a map of int comma int and is this we would simply have a map of int comma int and we would name it as mp and then we would simply do an in order so i would just name in and then we would pass r1 with the map and then we would again pass r2 with the map because we are just hashing both of them in the one place so if we hash both of them in the one place the common nodes would have a frequency too this is just the idea now we would do an in order traversal so the return type would be void because we just need to do traversal and we would just write in and then at this point we would say node star okay node star root node star root and then map of int comma int with pass by reference with pass by reference and at this point if the root is equals to null then we would simply return from this point okay so now we would say in order traversal of root dash left okay we would simply do the in order traversal of root dash left comma mp and after the left is done we would visit the root okay so now we would say mp dot find if mp dot find root dash data okay is not equal to mp dot end okay then what we would do is answer dot push back root dash data and at this point we would do the same thing in order traversal of root dash right comma mp okay and if we have seen it before we would insert that in the answer if we have not seen it before then mp dot insert root dash data number one and this is good enough in order traversal of the left and the right and then we would do the in order traversal of left and right 
after doing the in order traversal we will return the value of the answer this should work now this would be r2 yeah so we just entered the same link same tree twice so all the values of the first tree came up so seems like we are going on the correct track and that's it for today see you have a nice day goodbye everyone